Out back here at home, folks are arriving at Metro Airport after scrambling to get out of the hurricane's path. Tampa's airport just closed a few minutes ago at five. No flights going in or going out. Jacqueline Francis is live at DTW tonight. And Jacqueline, you talked to folks who made it out just in time. Yeah, talk about a stressful travel day. Those last flights from Tampa to Detroit sold out. Many of the people on board were Metro Detroiters who had to cut their vacations short. Other people included those who live in Florida, now in Michigan, seeking refuge from Hurricane Ian. All in all, a busy day here at the airport. Hurricane Ian is forcing Michiganders to cut their trips short. It's happy to get out of there. Scrambling to find the last flights out of the storm's path. Everybody, all of our friends and family who were there for a wedding, was told to leave Clearwater, Largo, and Tampa. The airports in Florida packed and flights sold out. We weren't sure if we were going to get out or not. Luckily, we did this morning. A Fort Myers mom and her twin boys landing in Michigan to stay with family, not wanting to take any chances. And they're not the only ones erring on the side of caution. Yeah, and if we're without electricity, that makes life a little difficult. So I'd rather than get a rowboat and row myself to the grocery store, I decided to come to Detroit. We were at Disney, and it looked like it was going to go right over that area. Um, so we just made the decision, you know, I'd rather have a blizzard than a hurricane. So we decided to cut it short and come home early. A University of Central Florida student from Troy also playing it safe. Seeing the storm is a good excuse to spend a fall weekend in Michigan. Only yesterday they canceled classes for Wednesday through Friday. So kind of just decided to make a last minute trip home. So now the big question is, when will people be able to return to Florida? Tampa officials at the airport there say it's unclear when they'll be able to reopen. And just today, the biggest airport in Orlando announced that it'll be halting all commercial flights starting tomorrow. We're live at Detroit Metro Airport. Jacqueline Francis, Local 4.